welcome to my lovely subscribers and lovely viewers and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the five mistakes that you should try and avoid when planting and growing magnolias. So this is the number one mistake that people tend to make when they're choosing their magnolia. The thing is Scientists argue that there are between about 150 and 350 different species of magnolia and some grow quite small like the stellata which gets to about 2 metres or grow absolutely huge like magnolia cambolii, cambolii, cambolii uh, which grows up to about 30 metres tall and I see all the time people with front gardens they put in a magnolia and they end up a few years later with a tree that absolutely swamps the entire garden so when you are choosing your magnolia check the overall heights, check the overall sizes, make sure your garden can accommodate the magnolia you want. And unless you have a garden large enough that Capability Brown come round and redesigned it for you, then you can have the pick of any magnolia you choose. But outside of that, you need to check the size first. The second mistake when you're growing magnolias is to plant them in the wrong compost. Now, magnolias are from the family Magnoliaceae. They're okay. not from the family Ericaceae, but it doesn't matter because they require very similar conditions. They like the soil to, between, to be between acidic and neutral conditions. And that means when you plant them, plant them in a big hole and backfill it with Ericaceous or acidic kind of compost. And that way your plant won't suffer and struggle with trying to take up iron and magnesium that can discolour the leaves and cause it problems trying to produce the chlorophyll pigment. So this is mistake number two, plant it where you can, in our case just compost. Mistake number three is planting your magnolia in the wrong site. Now you know and I know that magnolias flower really really early and that can mean that the blooms are prone to damage from freezing winds, freezing temperatures. So when you plant magnolia, avoid frost pockets, that's low lying area, and plant them with protection against winds, like a fence or underneath a tree. That is a great one. Right, see this label? This label is telling me that this is a dark pink flower. Right, now look at the plant. Can you see any flowers in it? No. You trust that label? I don't trust that label. <laughs> These are so mass produced, either in Europe, in Africa, I don't know. And they are a bit shoddy. So if you're going to buy particular magnolia and you want to make sure it's the coloured flower that you're expecting, buy your magnolia in flower. Don't do what I did. Do you know what? I'll be honest with you. I like, there aren't, there is not a magnolia that I don't like. So I don't really too bothered. Um, but don't go by the label. Always try and buy it in flower first. This is mistake number five. Mistake I see all the time with TV gardeners. What they love to do is they take it out and they want to tease and pull apart all the roots. And they love doing that. I don't know why they don't know why they want to do it. As soon as you do that, you're damaging all the fine root hairs that are taking the water and taking the nutrients. If you do that with the magnolia, you are at risk. They do not like it, they do go into shock, and you can stop flowering for a year or two. Do not mess about with the root ball and that's your last one thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video